In this video, we are going to learn the basics on how to add or remove functionality in SAP Commerce Cloud. At the end of the presentation, a quick demo will be performed. Most of the SAP Commerce Cloud functionality is actually delivered by its extensions. Adding more extensions to your deployment enables the system to support more features such as subscriptions, omnichannel capability, the back-office customer support cockpit, and many others. You may think of extensions as LEGO building blocks, allowing the OmniCommerce experience to be extensible and customizable at any desired level. Some extensions are developed by SAP and delivered as part of the out-of-the-box experience, while other extensions are created by third party, such as external service providers, partners, and customers. So, how do we add or remove extensions in SAP Commerce Cloud? It is normally a three-step operation. One, by adding or removing them from the local extensions XML file. Two, rebuilding the system. And three, updating the platform. It's always good to check the extension page at help.hybris.com in order to see if any additional configuration steps are required. Let's perform a quick demo. Let's say we need to add customer service cockpit to an existing SAP Commerce Cloud system. You first add the customer support back office extension to local extensions XML and save the file. After that, you open a terminal, go to Hybris Platform folder and type set and env, then end all to build your system. After the build is finished with success, go to Hack and select Platform Update. On the screen, select the first three checkboxes. Update running system to make any necessary database modifications. Create essential data to import any basic data setup needed by the extension and localize types to perform the internationalization setup for the new extension or extensions. Scroll down to find your added extension in the Project Data Settings section. The extension may or may not have some sample data or project-specific data, so let's mark its checkbox as well. Click on Update and wait it finish. After the update is finished, let's test the added functionality. Go to back office and you will find available customer support cockpit. Thanks for watching.